Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. I am loving the series. I grew up a, a huge fan of Twisted Metal 2 in particular. So um, being able to actually see it like brought to life, especially with like, this cast, I'm, I'm really super stoked about it. It was fun to be a part of. I feel like developing that world, developing those characters, and actually giving them a backstory and a reason for existing, it was, um, it was a lot of fun. Nobody has more fun being a milkman than John Doe. <laughs> that's that's for sure. Let's start there then. Um, um, who is who is John Doe? We start the show with him having no recollection of his memory. He has full blown uh, amnesia, so we don't really know who he is. All we know is he's alone in this world and he's you know making the best of it. You know he's he's just a happy go lucky guy trying to figure out where he's from and who he is. Who is quiet? Well, she's quiet. She doesn't talk very much, um, but I think she es establishes who she is pretty quickly um, on screen. She's a car thief, and she basically just does... She doesn't um, always think things through. I think she's a really impulsive person. Um, she's dangerous, and I think as the series kind of unfolds, you learn more about her backstory, but she's an enigma wrapped in a mystery at first, for sure. Who is Sweet Tooth? Uh, Sweet Tooth is the lovable Niles, Needles Kane who is uh, somewhat misunderstood, but generally he deals with that misunderstanding by being a psychotic clown that runs Las Vegas in the wasteland that is known as the Nevada Desert. Who is Agent Stone? <laughs> in the post-apocalyptic landscape that Twisted Metal takes place in, he is the definer of law and order. Um... He really decides uh, how harshly punished crime doers, you know, lawbreakers are. Did you play the game as a kid? I did. I did. It was a it was a big day in '96 when we got a PlayStation. It was huge, man. It was huge. So uh, Twisted Metal was one of the first games I got. I think if you owned a PlayStation, it was kind of one of the default titles that you immediately bought and got down on the couch and you showed to your friends as you guys, uh, you know, committed carn carnage on each other in a, in, a, in, a, in a small digital city. So yeah, it's definitely something that I grew up playing and I loved, um, you know, played all the way up through black and, um, you know, enjoyed every one of them. So um, yeah, it's, it's definitely cool uh, to be given this opportunity to bring one of my favorite characters to, uh, to life on screen. I, I would describe the series if I had to use one word and I'm, I'm quoting MJ, our showrunner, who said it's unhinged. And that's really how it feels. I mean, it feels like the doors have come off and you, you like the steering wheel's about to come off the car too. And it just like, you don't know where it's gonna go next. You really don't like, and, and that's true from minute to minute, but it's also true from episode to episode, which is really cool. Cool, screams. 